everybody. Welcome to Critadel, a fun little game. I don't know what this game is, to be perfectly blunt with you guys. Um, but I'm excited to explore it um, in whatever fashion I do end up exploring it in. Um, it'll be super fun, so very excited. Um, I've been waiting for you. Savior of Babel. Babel, maybe. Now, open your eyes. Okay. Like a guardian angel of sorts. I wonder if this game's okay on PC keyboard mouse. It might be, it might not be, so it's gonna be interesting. Um, usually I prefer keyboard mouse, but this might be like a platformer type game, so it might not be a good idea. We'll see. The Sanctuary, okay. I did love the music on the title screen, and I'm already loving the music now, so I'm very excited. Okay, we are a rookie. We're just waiting for you to please head upstairs. We have a dodge roll, okay. It's a bit of a platformery game, I see that. I might plug in the uh, controller, actually. Let me see how I feel. Babel is a research facility built here in the Soul World. It's purpose to preserve and utilize ancient knowledge. But a group of fanatics since the Church of Noah have taken over Babel. Now its only purpose is an armory for those interlopers. We're powerless to stop them, so we fled here to Sanctuary in order to await the arrival of a mighty soul that could help save us. Or could help us, even. Finally, you've come. My name is Knox. Keep your soul and the souls of everyone you know and love from being bound by Babel. You must reach the Gate of Ascension at the top of the tower. Enemies are strong, they'll be difficult to overcome, but you can retrieve a data chorus that the Church of Noah has stolen and begin to restore Babel to its original power. First core is that I've detected it on the top floor of the security office. It's a subtle light red sphere. I will load any remaining data and restore any items I can find. They may be weak. They may be weak, but they should still prove useful. We will wait your return. Okay. So I just have all these weapons unlocked. Will this be like on runs? Is that how that works? Potentially. Teleporter can be below. Can teleport you to an area currently occupied by the Church of Noah. Your story of heroism begins now. Good luck. Alright, so I'm gonna give this game a go with keyboard mouse, but I I have a good feeling this is better on controller. More mode. Okay. I think this is very similar to like a roguelike. Um, just my initial thoughts. So. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting, especially now, after seeing, like, all the weapon unlocked. Oh, uh, yes, this is very roguelike, 100%. Okay. Very cool. Let's go to the bottom path here. Uh, okay, okay. I don't mind this combat system. It's a little simple at the moment, but it's the first level, right? Get a little sprint there. Is clear. All right, we are full on that. You get like scored based on, based on how well you do in the room. Very nice. Okay, it's a little fast paced, which I like, but it's not like terribly like it's not like insane. It's not like a like a dungeon type game, which I love dungeon. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Neon Abyss. If you ever played that one? Full on ammo still. I guess it's ammo or health maybe. Are oh, we getting upgrade station or more enemies? I think we go with the upgrade station here. Anvil. You can use crystals to upgrade or repair your weapons. Upgrade, repair, or just repair. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. How do I close out of this? Go back. I honestly, I can, I can roll with keyboard mouse in this. I think. It's to repair. D is to upgrade. I don't have any. I can't do any of that yet. Okay. So I don't have any gems. Uh, mystery, mystery. Well, we're going mystery then. Uh, well now, let's not expect a human paying a visit to a private lair. You've come seeking my cursed items. My treasure can be yours, but you must pay a price. My price is your blood. Okay, so I, I pay 30 HP. Is that max HP or just regular HP? Uh, do you see SP cost of rolling by 10? Extra weapon damage. Critical hit chance. Go with that. That's not even... Oh, that's perfect. Those are really nice. That's not even max HP. I thought it was going to be max. Um, we can get crystal, or we can get this. I don't know what the crystal is, so I'm going to go with the crystal if I can. It'll fit. All the goods that go in come out. Use crystals to purchase items. Shops also contain a device which you can use to recover items by using soul orbs. Shredder and a blender. Shredder, you can discard one item into a shredder. Break it down into crystals. You can discard two weapons into the blender create a new item. Okay. Um, so I can break this gun to get crystals. Realistically, I have 81 crystals. Okay, so I can buy a weapon here. 
Uh, Blasto, an extremely powerful sniper rifle. I usually like the sniper rifles. I do have a crit up chance, though, so I should probably go something a little bit more rapid fire. Maybe like a... Uh, maybe some high crit rate. Well, actually, this is a high crit rate. Let's go with the sniper. Why not? And how do I... Perfect. One and two. Love that. I love that. This also reminds me of... It's a very niche flash game. Um... I don't remember the name of it, but it was like this this, this keyboard and mouse um, platformer with guns, and you would like fight in like an arena. And I would play it all the time when I had a moment um, to play Flash games, and it obviously it wasn't paid on the computers because it was a little violent. Uh, but there were sites that let you play it, so it's it cool. It's cool. I do remember that very fondly. That game was very cool. Gain 50 crystals, increase the amount of crystals gained when enemies defeated. Lovely stuff, because we're now. We're rich. Should we do have a mini boss or maybe even just a boss at this stage? Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, that's actually pretty quick. I like how rapid this game goes. It, it moves. So, how does this work? Okay. These boxes are actually in my way. I gotta be a little bit careful not to hit them, right? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I've shipped, I've shipped, I've shipped. Do the dodge roll. Stop. That's my fault. Oh, well, this is such an old school, like, retro style, too. But I love it. Stuff is pretty good. I do like it. I just gotta get better with the aiming. This game actually is very good on keyboard and mouse. I do recommend it. I wonder what the grenade button is. It's the G. There's the crit. I have a 20% crit chance every hit. It's pretty solid. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I gotta take more distance fights there. I do have to take more distance fights, so okay. Ton of crystals to gain though, soul orb, which is probably like the big currency in this game. Candy gram. Do you like that versus my other weapon if I can only have two? You can have three, okay. That's very um the Anubis. It's 40 SP. Very nice. That's good. What's that do? I saw a little button pop up there, maybe. I don't know, maybe I didn't. Um but we do have these three weapons, okay. Nice, so this is going to be floor two, I would imagine. This is a really cool system. Like, it, it, it's definitely... Really, it, it reminds me a lot of that Flash game, especially. I, I, have, to, I have to link it eventually, or I'll show you guys some footage in the video, but this is really cool. Careful of these turrets down here. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. They have a bit of damage there. Well, I feel like in these games, all the L damage is bad damage, you know? Also avoidable. Spike guys, are those breakable? They're not. Ah, oh, I just have to jump that better. Okay. okay so it's also like weaving in between cover, right? That's kind of the goal. Using the dodge roll a lot more effectively. Not there, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get the flow of this game a bit better. Obviously, the first one's not going to be the, the, the run. You know what I mean? Nice. Well, I didn't kill him, I thought it did. Um, okay, I need to go down here. This weapon is pretty bad, I will admit. I do prefer the other one. It's also like almost dead too, which is like crazy. Some mysteries here. Could this just be a fighting room? Just fine by me. This guy is actually a bit tricky to hit. Oh. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Round two. Nice. Okay. Very nice. Okay. A magnetic coil. Surrounds the bolt's powerful magnetic field. Critical hit chance cannot drop below zero. Love it all. 
Love it all, love it all, love it all. Okay. Uh, we can't go to this guy? Let's go to this guy, why not? Let's see what this is. Hey, for you, my name is Hayon. I'm setting the Riddle Field Tower. Mr. Jim who created the androids and all these weapons. Their original purpose was, things that like. Things like that. And I could really use someone like you to help me with my research, and don't worry, it won't take up too much of your time. I just need to fill up this basin right here, so known as the Grail of Souls. Appears to require a full grail to unlock the door that stands on the top floor of the tower. I don't think this is something I can do on my own. I sure don't expect you to do this for free. Each time you add to the grail, I reward you with something useful. I think there's a few things you need in order to completely fill the grail. I'm marking down your map for you. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Mission to add to your map. Fun. Okay, so it's like little side quests in between the world, like, uh, missions, it looks like. Which is pretty interesting. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, you're here. Another guest on Petra's Grit and Grand Game Show Spectacular. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. I already try your hand at Petra's Spinning Disc of Luckiness. Great, let's give it a spin. So negatives and positives, looks like. It's completely random. Good. Fortunes. I think, right? That's how it looks good to me. Just lucky. Yeah, okay, here's your prize. Crystals, awesome stuff. I gotta find a shop or a anvil next, but I think right now we're gonna find some okay. Oh, what the heck? You hit me there. I wonder. Oh, I clicked out of the game. Awkward. Let me make sure my settings are all set there. Okay, yeah, my settings are all wonky now. Uh, so that is a slight issue. I gotta figure out what that is. Set options. I need lock cursor within window. Yeah. Oh, is that off? Must have been off. Yeah, I want that on. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't come up again. Nice. Okay, so this is just a healer now. Nice. Alright. So yeah, this guy's actually running on empty here. I'm gonna use the candy gun a little bit just so. Wait, I can actually heal my gun, right? Yes! Love that. Okay. Another Blasto. I mean, two Blastos sounds pretty good. Which I don't think I can grab two. Yeah, I can grab two. Okay. So I should have realistically healed my other gun there. That's okay. Um. We can. Wait, what is this? Like an energy cell or something. Okay. Uh, we can heal. Yeah, actually, healing here seems pretty good. That sounds worth a while, right? Yeah. Because we were at, a, at around that. Yeah, we still are max health. Um, so that's a good, good idea. Good idea when our blast was full, which is good. I think it's our best weapon right now. And here we go, round number two. Oh, a sniper's been really useful here, I think. Phantom. Okay. Oh, he's kind of tricky, though. Okay. Oh, he's, he fires them from himself. Right. I thought it was going to come from below. Probably not good to get that there. Really, it hit me? These guys have some cool guns. is like honestly it gives me kind of Mega Man vibes too to an extent I know it's not Mega Man like it's definitely not like, it's a very different genre like just like the combat like the different like power-ups and stuff I don't know like, it, the, like the, obviously the retro style that was a bad hit I could have avoided that oh he's at 33 health bro oh that's so tragic okay I actually beat two bosses in one round that would have been so sick when I first go so avoidable so avoidable that's unfortunate Traits. Talk to Maria at Sanctuary and check your current character traits. You can rank up each character's each character to unlock new unique traits. To activate a trait, you'll have to place it in a trait slot. Ranking up a character will unlock additional trait slots. Each character can up to five traits in their first fixed trait. Okay, so yeah, 
100% roguelike. That's been confirmed now. You will give me some traits here, so I can equip one more trait here. Leapfrog or survivalist. I think a leapfrog makes more sense. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Cool. I think leapfrog makes more sense as I get better at the game. In order to dodge more, I think that'll just be beneficial, right? I don't know who you are. I don't think I'm supposed to know who you are yet. Yeah, I'm not. Okay. Let me just go back in and restart, right? It's a fun little roguelike. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. As I'm kind of learning more about it, I'm really getting very like pleased with it. It's very fun. Energy bullet. Bullet imbued with extreme power. Restore 10 AP for each enemy defeated. Nice. I don't know what my AP does at the moment, but it's pretty rad. Uh, we could do fights or we could do mystery. Let's go fights. Get more consistent. I still feel pretty strong at the moment, which is good. Obviously, you want to feel that. You go into fights. That's just the name of the game. Uh, we do have a gun. I actually don't know the info on it. Can I read that from here or no? Oh, it's also, the, it's like a map, like, uh, so sort of the Spire type of map. Okay. Let's see what you do. It's a constant stream of high temperature light particles. Energy ammo. Okay, cool. I wonder if the typings actually matter for certain enemies. It might. Uh, down or up? Either way, it's the same. Tricky. Oh, good hit. Dang. Okay. Let's take care of that. This guy. Okay. This is actually a really good gun. I like this a lot. I'm gonna save it a little bit. A little bit. It feels like the health drops are like fairly decent. Not that tough to, to read. I don't know how to use grenades, that's my one question. 10 charge time. Let's see if it's G. F. G. R. R is reload. E. Q. Q to switch weapons. C. B. Right click. Right click. Right click. That, that's very natural, actually, so that's fine. That was like the last button, I was like, that could possibly like be natural here. So glad to see that that was it. That's very strong. I, I, I should use that against the boss. That was my biggest issue. I definitely would be able to beat that boss if I just used my grenades. Let's get rid of that healer. So he makes a creepy noise. Another Illumin, I think that that just gives you more, uh... Yeah, that doesn't actually give you a new weapon. Oh right. Oh, it's an awful room. Jesus. Uh... Okay, we're safe. I see a locked chest over there. I don't have a key yet, though. Oh, bad hit. Okay, that's fine. Tricky room. I like those trap rooms, though. They're fun. Okay, here's the shop. We do have a lot of money here. We can buy a weapon. Uh, we don't really have a lot of, like, power-ups yet. So actually, a power-up here might, might be decent. 5% burn chance to a weapon is really good here. Um... And then, yeah, something like the Prism or even the K1 here seems really good. Let's go with the K1. Normal Rifle. That sounds really useful. Uh, we obviously have Boss or Boss. We'll go Boss. Tough decision, I know. We're back to the same Boss. Okay, I don't mind that. I hope I hope that there's a variety, but I, I understand that there's something to make, right? Uh, let me 
save this cover as much as I can. This is not a great boss for these weapons, unfortunately. Last time the sniper was just so much nicer. These moves are so erratic, so if you just have a single, like, fast fire bullet, it's so much better. Love the gun sounds in this game. They're, they're retro, right? They're not like these, like, bulky things. But it's very arcadey. I can't throw grenade when you're reloading. Okay, that's good to know. Anyway, you're shooting. This is interesting. You can't do it when you're reloading. Okay. Let's go let go of the click button. We could fight overall. That that could have gone a lot worse. I do want that prism over this. So hold on to it. Okay, cool. Uh, artifacts. A charm adorned with long forgotten ancient characters. Defeating enemies has a chance to restore 5 HP. I wonder how high that chance is. Because that can be really good or really not so good, depending on that number is. So. so if I see it, I see it, right? Not something I should rely on, though. Hmm. I gotta dash more. Oh, bad hit, bad hit, bad hit. There's some really bad hits there. Not focusing enough. We want this gun back though, which is nice. What those uh, blue bulbs are? Oh, they just have money in them, that's what they are. Okay. Bad enough. No mystery here? Oh, a spin, absolutely. Of course we're doing that. Why not? Why not? Why not? Health. Okay. Here's your prize. 100 health. I just lost all my health earlier, so you know what? I am not against that at all, honestly. Oh, tough hits. Tough hits. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Oh, shoot. You the door. Snipers are tough, man. Oh. This is like a loot bot. Or a, a money bot or whatever. You know what I mean? It's always the cliche in these games. It's just a guy who just drops a ton of stuff and runs away. Gotta watch out for this. Nice. I mean, that wasn't the worst room. Not the best either, but... You know, a little bit of health doesn't hurt, right? Chest down here as well. It's heavily locked. It only costs one thing, though. Okay. Steel bullet does never some damage. Okay, so that last one that I skipped was totally worth getting the one time. Okay, thought I needed a key or something. The mystery here looks like it's just another fight room, which is fine. It's the mystery, you know what I mean? Bad, bro. Please. All right. Then we stick a grenade there, but you know it's okay. Better than not using them at all, right? It's gonna blow up, right? Nice, no hit. No hit's always great. Let's score a bit. Wood fire. What oops did you hold? You can just hold as many as you want. Okay, cool. I take that. No limit. I mean, I'm sure there was eventually a limit, probably like nine, right? And just hockey all these two. That's very nice. Very, very nice. The boots. Yo, is it just faster? Is that all it was? I didn't fully read it. Um. 
Where would I see that even? Oh, here it is. Shoe woven with golden thread that pulls sing with energy. Pulls with energy. Cover SP faster. Okay. Not speed, it's SP. Which is good. Which is good. Uh, we can go to repair or even upgrade station, which I think is probably a good idea here. We have a number of things we want to do here. Um, we could repair all. I mostly just want to repair this. Oh, that's all I to repair. Uh, we can upgrade as well as... Is there a, uh, a blender? There's not a blender, it looks like. Okay, so that's not guaranteed I'm going to. Um, I really want to upgrade the K1, I think. Let's upgrade you. I'm not going to repair that. I don't really care too much about it. That's upgraded to a K1+. Plus. I also want to upgrade the prism. The prism is pretty useful. Wood fire, no. Review. And I could repair you while I'm here as well. Let's do it. While we're here, right? I think that's worthwhile. I don't think any more upgrades make sense, though. Aluminum actually isn't a bad idea to upgrade either, right? Uh, you probably only have... S no, you probably have nine. Yeah, probably nine. Uh, let's upgrade it, too. Oh, no, we can't afford it. Never mind. Okay, that's it. Uh, we're gonna go into this fight with K1 out. Pretty K1. Sounds like a good idea. And it is the same fight. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Like he just throws the guns down. He's like, okay, I'm here now. Phantom's back. These are dodges more. These are nades. Oh, this is the pattern. This is the pattern. Absolutely. Like, this gun is really good for this fight. I think it was bad for the first fight, but it's really good for this one. I don't have any nades. I was trying to throw nades the whole time. Really? Nice. Not bad. Not bad fight at all. That felt pretty clean. We get our full health back too, which is nice. Uh, burn type, another burn type percentage is really good here. Of course, I'm gonna grab their pink core. Why not? Steel boots to prevent damage from thorns. Okay. That was a really good room. Yeah. We lose most of our durability on our K1, but four three great. Let me see guide C. Wind bell. Wind bell is you can repair the teleporter found on odd floors. To use a teleporter, you need to give Windbell some souls, at which point you can teleport from Sanctuary to a different floor. Is that permanent? I hope so. I'm going to try it. The new person. Tip told me about you, so you're helping me out, Maria. Yeah, me too. I'm not to fight or anything, so instead I'm trying to repair the teleporter. Right, Bill Snack. You need solar orbs to activate. It won't happen. If you happen to find any, I always use a helping hand. Oh, you actually found some. I'll take it from here. I can just teleport and take sure to teleport straight back to this floor. Perfect. So that's the checkpoint. Lovely stuff. Obviously, you're weaker at this stage, but honestly, the first two floors really aren't that challenging. It's good to build up weapons, but I feel like starting from here is actually fine. We'll see how bad this floor is. This is fine. Yeah. This is fine. That's just a bad day the first one. The starter pistol is really good too, so it's like. Honestly, okay. Get a heal back. Okay, let's go north. This guy's here, I didn't even see him. I have to fix the spike situation, I swear. <laughs> nice, okay. The movement in this game is so freaking nice. I think once I get like really good with it, I'm gonna absolutely love it. Feels so good. Like, I'm bad with it now, but like, it's fun. So much potential. 
Oh, he's bounced to like that. And there's also this chainsaw going on in the background. Okay. Gotta watch this. Again, this is very Mega Man to an extent. Like, it really does remind me of it. Obviously, like, the enemy's a little less so, but... It's like the obstacles and shit. Like, absolutely. And obviously the, the retro vibe. You know what I mean? Even like a, um... Contra, in some respects. Not Contra, what am I thinking? Metal Slug. That's what I'm thinking of. Very Metal Slug vibes. Got back. I think that just, again, gives us more, um... I think I probably didn't want to go here, actually. I probably would prefer to go elsewhere, but we can definitely repair all. And we can also probably upgrade... Let's say the K1 again. That's pretty good. Upgrade that unfortunately. Every time you upgrade a gun, it costs more the next time, which is interesting. I have some piercing damage on this, which is nice. This is probably my favorite gun in the game right now. It's very consistent, it's just better than the pistol, right? So it's just a better pistol. I like the consistent guns, you know what I mean? I don't like ones that do some crazy shit. I haven't even used the other gun yet because the exploding one because I just didn't really have raised me. Uh I don't love this gun. I'll hold on to it, but I really don't love it. Destroyed altar. And there's a Okay, so I definitely want this. I think this is lore. Right? Versus, like, important to the story. Lost 100 crystals. That's fine. Not against those no weapon at all. That could have been really bad, but as long as I got my K1, I should be as good as I can be, right? Hopefully there's health here. I don't think there is, though. Uh, my service of charge time plus 20% max HP. I don't think either of those are that worth it. I don't think you're worth it, either. I think, at the end of the day... Bison might be worth it. Let's go with the bison. Weapons of power, man. Again, realistically, I'm sick of this. Probably all the way through. Soul Converter. Random B tier weapon. A tier, S tier. Clean out the K1? Not the K1. That's all I wanted. Yep. Stalker. Well, oh, it's different rarities. I never do that. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna die here for sure. I don't have any health. I was hoping for some help before that fight, but unfortunately can't find it. Foxy tail. Okay, well yeah, I'm gonna die here. We'll see though. Okay, I don't like weapons that do random shit, and this is doing random shit. I don't like it. Not bad though. Kinda homing, which I, and I don't mind actually. If I can just focus on the platforming, I actually don't mind that at all. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. But it's homing, right? Ah, good hit. Yeah. Game gets intense there, for sure. Alright, so for three. Nice. I have this orb as well. I unlock more items. Nice. Love that. I think that I just unlocked. Oh, yeah, I just unlocked this in that run. Nice. Some more bullets and artifacts. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Awesome. Second corner on the top floor of the machinery plant. Lovely turquoise spear. Spear. Plus 80, 80 max AP. That's the magazine size. That's what that is. Let's go with that. I think that's better than that, and I think that's good too, yeah. I like the movement. Um, who are you? Vincent. Sylvia will offer three artifacts. Artifacts provide completely unique. It cannot be obtained within the tower. If one of the three artifacts that they offer you is to be at least a boss of the artifacts that they offer you will change. Nice. Okay, so these are like you start your run with one of these? Is that how that works? 
Oh, more artifacts for you. Okay, so they haven't done anything yet, but we'll wait and see as they kind of do their thing. Um, and I think that's it for this first uh, little, like, look at this game. I'm very excited to explore it further. Um, I'm definitely going to play a few more rounds of it, at least. Um, so, most stay tuned for that. Definitely do so. Uh, love me a good nose. Uh, nose lock. Jeez Louise. <laughs> play too much Cormon. I love me a good uh, roguelike. That's the name of the job. And this one delivers in a lot of ways, so very excited to play more of it.